I said, in a Jibriki Latvian authority did away with the president of Huruganyaz's plan to cut the cost of power by 30 percent. Now, the prices were further adjusted upwards after the energy regulator factored in the inflation charges, a cost that was exempted from the charge under Kenyatta's administration. Our reporter Wangari analyzes the pain points for Kenya's homesteads and manufacturers in the country. As Kenyans get a breather over the slightly reduced cost of fuel, Ruto's government is unrelenting on the electricity front. The cost of power is now at historic highs, this coming after the latest review in power charges by the Energy and Regulatory Authority. Latest data now shows that Kenyans using less than 100 units per month are now parting with 19.74 shillings per unit, up from the 19.27 shillings a month ago. This means that even after the Energy and Regulatory Authority expunged Uhuru Kenyatta's 15% caution in the price of power, the cost has gone even higher. The power utility has indicated that the latest jump in the price of power in the country is down to the current high cost of inflation, with the cost of producing power also jumping up due to the cost of fuel. It is only in August when 1,000 shillings will get one 45.72 units. But now, with the same amount, Kenyans are getting 39.68 units. Are there more levied charges that Kenyans should be aware of? Or are we leaving the World Bank agenda of meeting the power distributors' financial gains by 2023? For Luca Business, my name is Wangare Njaroge.